So we've got these individual bands that we can you know, turn off and on. But they're each sort of standalone grayscale images, right? Because they're only recording the data from one portion of electromagnetic spectrum. But it's much more interesting to look at things in color. And to do that, we need to basically assign each channel to um, each band to a different you know, channel in the monitor, a red, green, or blue. And um, it's much easier to do that when these images are, are basically combined into a multi-channel image, right? Each net, right now, they're sort of individual standalone files you saw when you unzipped. But we're going to do something here to combine them uh, to make a, a basically a multi-band image. And the way that we do that is we are going to uh, basically use a tool um, called Build Layer Stack. And over here in the toolbox, you can type over here Build Layer Stack. So build layer stack. So there's a tool that we're going to use to combine these bands into a multi-band image. So you open that guy up and it says input the rasters. And you're going to want to do this in order, right? So you're going to want this guy and then, oh, or do I actually want to do this? Yeah, you want, all right, and then, then you want the third. And you want this in order because these bands are in order in the electromagnetic spectrum, right? And hopefully from part one, uh, you have some sense of that. And then bands and seven, the last one. So there's six, so it's one, two, three, four, five. We're skipping number six and then band seven. So we're gonna have a, a layer stack which is made up of six different rasters, okay? We can leave all these guys default and then we wanna say, okay, where do we want this output raster to, to be? And we're gonna browse there and we want to locate it on this, you know, basically in our, in our lab folder, right? We wanna have good data management. And we're going to uh, call this one Landsat uh, Bandstack underscore underscore. And then you say save. And then you say OK. And so it's, it's executing, right? It's, so it's going, to, it's going to stack these individual uh, images uh, together. And so we're going to get a new guy, which... Um, Oh, and it automatically does that for us. It populates it, and it and it does it in such a way that um, the the chosen bands. So again, it's red, green, blue. Those are the channels of the monitor, and it happened to do it in order. So blue is in band one, green is band two, and red is band three. That's pretty cool. But we can also like you know we can change that. So we could make it. You know, we've got we stacked all these other guys. We've got band seven. We've got band five. We got band four. Right. So we can. And if I zoom in, no longer grayscale, right? This is, you know, to some degree how it would look if we were flying over in an airplane. And we can change the, uh, how it looks by, you know, this is not changing the data, it's just sort of changing the, the stretch. Um, and so you can, you can click on this to make it linear, you can change it to make it, you know, Gaussian, right? These are different types of basically histogram stretches, we'll talk more about this in, in, in class, that uh, can make things appear you know, uh, more or less distinct uh, from, uh, and so it's thinking out and I just did no stretch. And so hopefully it's gonna do this, this calculation and see what that looks like, right? But I, I like to have a little bit of, let's do a linear stretch to kind of make things pop a little bit. Um, but again, we can change the, we can change, right now it's, it's, it's a band three, which is red light is assigned to the red channel. Band two, which is green, part of the electromagnetic spectrum aside to the green channel of the monitor, and band one, which is the blue portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, aside to the, the blue monitor. But we can change this, and this is much more fun. So we can go to change RGB bands. And the first one you select will be the, the red. It's always RGB. So every time you select, it's gonna, so I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna say band six, I want that to be red, and I want band three uh, to be green, and I want, uh, uh, I want band five to be blue. So I just randomly selected these guys. And I'm going to say, okay, wow, right? So what's going on here? We're seeing all kinds of, you know, uh, different colors that are really sort of popping out. And we can also change this. Um, we can change it to be whatever we want. We can make them, I want both, I want band five to be red and green. And then I want band two to be blue. Well, that's pretty wild, right? So you can, you can play those different, different games uh, for, for this guy. Um, great.